Hello, my name is Maria. I am an occupational therapist within the Specialist Children and Young People Services. As occupational therapists, we are going to introduce you to a series of videos to explain more about what we do and also to try to dispel some myths around the world of sensory and in turn give you lots of hope and ideas that you can do with your child to help them cope better in our sensory world. If we first think back to how it was for us as children, life seemed far less complicated. It seemed easier, for definite it was quieter, playing was simple, it was done mainly outside in the garden or in the park, there were no mobile phones and the word social media didn't even exist. Shopping centres consisted of a row of shops in your local area. TVs were one size and schools were smaller. Now our world is bigger, louder and more busy. And because of this, the demands are far greater in every way. We need to appreciate how it is for us so that we can then think about the impact it has on our children's lives. So let us now take a moment to think about our own lives. You may live in a busy household where mornings are chaotic with the hustle and bustle of people getting ready for work and school. Think about the noise of doors slamming, people talking, the radio on, the TV in the background. Think about the different smells of deodorants, perfumes, the smell from the kitchen of breakfast, cooked toast, burnt toast, porridge cooking in the microwave. Add to that a child or an adult on their mobile phone, checking for the latest text alerts or updates from social media and friends, and all before you have even stepped outside your door. Our lives have become more and more busy. Our lives are full to the brim of sights, sounds, smells, tastes and touch. As functioning adults, we are, in the most part, able to cope with these sensory experiences that life throws at us. But, often for children, and more importantly, for children with other conditions, this can be much more stressful and more difficult for them to deal with. So, to help you understand, we are going to now introduce and go over our seven senses. We know that we have five senses in our body that help us understand ourselves and the world in which we live. These are sight, sound, touch, smell and taste. We know these because we can see them. They are on our bodies and we know they are there. We use our senses to give us information, to provide us with details about things, to confirm if something is nice or if we don't like something, and to tell us if something is hot or cold or if something is dangerous. But in addition to these five senses, there are two hidden senses that most of us don't know about. These two senses are more difficult to understand because they are hidden and we cannot see them. Firstly is the proprioceptive sense. This is found in our muscles and joints all over our body. This sense tells us where our body is in space. It tells us every time we use our muscles by lifting, carrying, moving things, throwing things. Our muscles and joints have to work for our body to be able to carry out this activity. Second is the vestibular sense. This is located inside our inner ear. This is often called our movement and balance sense because it helps us to be able to understand and respond to different movements that our bodies make. Together, that means we have seven senses that help our body in everyday activities. 
Our senses help us understand more about our body and how our body responds and copes to the different demands made upon it. We use different senses in different situations. Often, for some people, they may have one or two senses that they feel work better and seem stronger. For others who have poor sight or hearing, the remaining other senses can and do take over and become more dominant to help out the other senses that are struggling. For us as individuals, we need to understand and appreciate how important these are individually, but also as a group. Integrating our senses, getting them to work together, can help us cope and respond better to demanding situations. So, let's quickly recap. Our world is becoming more busy and demanding. Think for a minute about your life and the different sensory demands made on it. Recall the well-known five senses and remember the importance of the two hidden senses. By being aware of what is happening to our sensory systems will help you as a parent or a teacher better understand children. We hope to see you next time for video two in our series of Understanding Our Sensory World.